truth. Now, that's an interesting word. What does that mean to us? Why don't we and others around us do what we know we should do? Actually, (laughs) the answer to that may surprise us, and we might not actually believe it. We might even get upset at this video, and for what, for the words which are spoken? A wise grandfather once told his eight-year-old grandson, when someone shares something with us, there is some percentage of truth from what is being shared. It could be 1% to 99%. It's not really up to the person sharing it to tell us precisely where it applies. It's up to us to work hard to figure it out. What I found in my life as a grandfather is that the more defensive, upset, and angry I get, the more truth there is. If the truth hurts, it was probably meant to hurt. The truth is that we don't actually know at a deep level for anything we don't follow through on. The truth is that we actually don't really know at a deep level the why or the benefit or the cost or how to make it fun. There are four reasons we do not follow through. One, we do not know the true cost of not following through. Two, we do not know the true benefit to following through. Three, we do not know how to follow through with our current level of resources and abilities. Four, we do not know how to make it fun to follow through. Actually, the truth will set us free. And when we miss the truth, we're enslaved to our way of thinking. Self-deception or lack of knowledge or wisdom is the core reason we don't follow through on what we know we should do. Have we ever caught ourselves or others saying, I don't have time. I can't do. I don't know I should do this. I know I should do this. I'm just not doing it. I'm not stupid. Or, hey, you make me feel stupid. You can't call me stupid, sloppy, lazy, and undisciplined. You can't tell me I don't care about people. Actually, the above statements are all not true. And when we deceive ourselves, we make a choice to continue to be enslaved. It's our choice, and we need to take personal ownership. The truth about time. The truth about time is that there are 1,440 minutes in a day and 10,080 minutes in a week. The truth is that we all have an abundance of time. And the truth is that we're just not very good stewards of that time, which is why we think we run out of time. The truth about thinking. Yes, there is some percentage of truth when we say, I can't do this. But it's not for the reasons we might think it is. The truth is what Henry Ford said. If you think you can do a thing or you think you can't do a thing, you're right. The truth is we can't do something because we choose not to know the truth. The truth about knowledge. The truth about knowledge is that there are different dimensions of knowledge. And Albert Einstein said, you can never solve a problem on the level it was created. Hmm. What does that mean? It means we create our own challenges, problems, and to solve them, we need to understand dimensional living and thinking and learn to trust. The truth about stupid. (laughs) Actually, the truth is that we are all stupid when we look at the entire universe of knowledge. Even Einstein wasn't that smart when it relates to the universe of knowledge. People who think they are smart are actually the stupidest of people. The smartest people are actually those who know they're stupid. Weird, but true. The truth about lazy. Actually, the truth is that we can call you stupid, lazy, and undisciplined because, well, it's our video. (laughs) Seriously, though, the truth is that you can never make anyone feel stupid. We can only reveal it. You know, whatever we do, if someone confronts us on this, do not become defensive. If we become defensive and they really do care about us, They'll become compelled to say, really, not only are you stupid, lazy, undisciplined, but you probably lack integrity and are defensive on top of that. Yes, the truth hurts at times. The truth about caring. With that being shared, that leads us to something that could hurt us even more. The truth is that we have tons of evidence that we do not care about people nearly as much as we think we do. Will we share this video with everyone we know? Probably not. Why not? We don't really care about others. We probably only share this video with people we know who will get a laugh out of it, but not those who will get upset. Why? The truth is, we don't really care that much for them, and we don't really want to deal with the drama, the defensiveness, and the attacks on us. The truth is that we care far more for ourselves than we do for other people. 
Now, real quick, hmm, what if uh, what if we pushed ourselves and shared this video with everyone we knew? Wouldn't that be cool? The person we would share this with would think that they were the type of person who we cared about, was smart in knowing they are stupid and someone we felt really we cared about. Hmm. If we don't share it with everyone we know, we're going to have people coming up and saying, why didn't you share it with me? Will we tell them the truth that we think they couldn't take the video? Probably not. If we don't, then we're just adding to our list that we're liars as well. Interesting things to think about, right? This one short video would generate so much amazing conversation. Have we gone through different thinking video? Do we agree that to follow through on anything we aren't currently doing that we need to think differently? Have we gone through success through systems video? Are we thinking differently and actually having someone design our BOS business operating system and then building that to help us earn a lot more money while working less hours? Do we really want more time? Why have we watched the discover my life vision video? Have we actually taken the 20 minutes it takes to discover our own life vision? The very hard truth is we don't follow through with what we know we should do because we're sloppy, lazy, undisciplined, and lack integrity. Yes, that probably hurts in the moment. But if we learn from the past, have a vision for the future, and live in the moment with our heart seeking to live our future to achieve our life vision, that is a powerful combination. We will actually start to do things that we found ourselves not able to do in the past. Have you shared this video with everyone you know? <laughs> Here's the next steps. One, watch the slightly longer video. Two, register online. Three, join a mastermind group, coffee connection, or a dimensional living home, school, business study group. Four, invest 30 minutes a week out of the 10,080 minutes in a week to pursue our very own life vision. Five, complete a full life vision profile. Six, pay it forward and help others do the same. This video is compliments of the individual who passed it along to you, the vision project, Legacy Partners, Coffee Connections, Mastermind Seminars, and Dimensional Living Study Groups. We trust that each of us will follow through on this video, as others have, and it will help us to reach beyond our dreams and goals in every area of our life. Pay it forward and pass this video along to everyone we know. Questions? Please call the individual who passed this video along to you and complete a 30-minute free strategy session or call toll-free 888-230-2300 or outside the U.S., please call 630-393-9909. Once again, that's toll-free 888-230-2300 or outside the U.S., please call 630-393-9909. Have an amazing day. Every employee in my firm has benefited from this. Ken Bucci, CPA, owner of an accounting firm. I was stuck, but now I'm not. Taking faster action and earning more money. Emily Nelson, owner, real estate company, and executive coach. I used to procrastinate. Now I take immediate action. Jason Miller, entrepreneur, business engine architect. I was able to start my own company in less than a month. My goal for next year's sales is 500000 Amazing. Lisa Kimbrough, owner, executive virtual assistant company. I'm helping everyone with this video. Great for business and personal relationships at Mortgage Professional. I used to overthink things. I now take quick action. Dana Beagle, engineer of business systems. This way of thinking is transforming the way I think. Jesus Sons, real estate investor. Every business owner and employee in the world should take this to heart. Tom Koontz, past president largest real estate franchise in the world.